Welcome back to Vanguard Motor Sales. My name's Kermit and behind me is a 1979 Cadillac DeVille. This thing's pretty cool and I promise you, if we get this thing outside weather permitting, I'll have to have a fedora to drive it. This thing just, it screams just California cruiser cool. Uh, looks to be pre pretty original to my knowledge. Um, we're gonna throw it up on the hoist. We'll get, you know, do the numbers on it. We'll show you the whole undercarriage of the thing, which is pretty nice. It's pretty factory fresh. Uh, we're going to give you a walk around of the car, show you the interior, start it up, take you for a ride in the thing, and try not to fall asleep as this thing lulls us to sleep. You know, it's like riding a lazy boy couch, these things. So uh, let's fire it up. All right, guys, we're in the showroom now. This is the front of our Cadillac. This thing, I mean, with the, you got these big square flat body panels on this thing with like the nice flat surfaces. I mean, you can you can really tell if it's got a dent. You know, with a lot of the really really curvy cars, it's a little more difficult. This one, you can tell, and I don't see one. I mean, it looks pretty much like a, like a flat top of a desk or something of that nature across the top of this thing. Absolutely beautiful. The paint looks like it's in great shape, except, uh, exceptionally with our, I should say especially with our lighting that we have in here. You could really tell if there's any dings or nicks or anything of that nature. I'm pretty impressed with it. Um, I've been told this car's got 6,600 original miles on it, and I believe it, you know, looking at it, absolutely beautiful. You can see all the body panels. I mean, it looks like original GM uh, lineup. You know, it doesn't really uh, surprise me that all this stuff seems to be pretty even, you know. Um, all the pinstripes, I mean, you gotta like that. Nothing screams 80s like this sort of, like this sort of pinstriping job, I mean, Awesome. You can see all the trims all still there. I mean, of course it's Cadillac, so I mean you know the door, the door fitment's going to be pretty good. Kind of a heavier door. You got to get used to shows, uh, closing them up. I mean, pretty sweet. Oh, and it, you did see that the door buzzer uh, still works on this thing too. So it, it's been very, very well kept. The top of it's in great shape. All the emblems are still there, all the chrome sh shines beautifully on it. The original um, center caps or hub caps, I should say, are still there. White wall tires on the thing. I mean, this thing is just, it, sc it screams cool cruiser. Deck lid in beautiful shape on the thing. You can see all the gaps, they're in really good shape. Body lines, nice and uh, crisp. You know, of course, it wouldn't surprise you that this hasn't had any body work done on it considering the mileage. Um, you do have the uh, rear window defroster, that is a, an option on this car, and I think you do have, it's got like the telescopic steering wheel on it as well. Rear uh, bumper looks like it's in, like as far as chrome goes, beautiful shape on the thing, side of the car, beautiful shape. Um, I do believe this to be original paint on the car, um, it, I mean I don't see any evidence of a, a repaint on the thing. And uh, for those of you who do not know, this is as far as these rear windows go down. That's stock. That's how they're supposed to be. Glass is in great shape. And of course, you can look at the pictures and uh, watch the video, and you can see the windows rolled up. And of course, the glass is in the front, just in, is is as in good of shape as the rear. Um, front window looks like it's in good shape. Brand new wiper blades on the thing. Fenders look like they're in great shape. Tires, of course, look like they're brand new on the thing. And of course, you're going to see that when we go and throw it up in the air. All the lights work. Everything works on this car. I mean, it has virtually no miles on it. It's essentially a brand new 1979 Cadillac. Let's take a look at the interior. Alright guys, open the door on the Caddy. Door buzzer still works. You can see all the interior lights are perfectly functional on the thing. Here's all your window controls. It's all stock. It's all still there and it all still works. Uh, all your door tags are all still here as you can see. Um, you can do the uh, under door rub here and you can see that there's no rust on it and it doesn't surprise me. Like we said, extremely low mileage car. Carpet tells the tale too. Carpet's in beautiful shape. Of course, we've got our protectors on here so we don't dirty it up. But uh, I mean, absolutely beautiful shape on the thing. I love that big hole, that monstrous gas pedal. That's a very, very signature of these cars. Dashboard's in great shape. Um, all the instruments, I mean, this thing is loaded to the nines. It's got every option you could possibly imagine in this thing, uh, with the exception of the TV. Um, horn works, wow, that's a loud horn. It's uh, horn works just fine. Radio's working. You got. Uh, all your climate control stuff over there. I do believe this thing does have air on it as a Cadillac would. I mean, absolutely beautiful. Seats are in great shape. If, if, I mean, uh, take a look at the rear seat on the thing. 
I mean, absolutely beautiful. The seat belts are all still there, not all gummed up. I mean, everything is really, really nice in this car. It probably got stuck in a garage uh, and just hardly ever got driven except for maybe to church on Sundays or something of that nature. Absolutely beautiful. Let's go check out the passenger side. All right, guys, on this side, before I open the door, there are two things that have been pointed out to me here. We do get a small paint nick right here underneath this mirror. It has been touched up a little bit, maybe dabbed up with some paint, but it is there. We'll disclose it, and then here as well. There's a little bitty uh, nugget right there. Um, not, not too bad. Of course, it's been touched up, so it's not going to rust or get any worse, but uh, you deserve to know about it. If you're going to buy the car, I mean, you need to know all the ins and outs of it. Uh, on this door, of course, you've got less options because you don't want the passenger uh, playing with your seat controls, but outside of that, all of the um, weather stripping looks like it's in beautiful shape. You've got all of like the chrome stripping is all still there. Do the under the door feel. I don't even feel so much as a bubble or even rough paint. I mean, it's, it, look, it feels just like an original GM car should. Um, moving in here, you can see we're going to give you the passenger floor mat look. We, don't, uh, we, we didn't plastic this one because really we're not taking anybody for rides unless you want to go for a ride if you want to come and look at the car. Um, outside of that, looking at the underside of the dashboard, there's no whole bunch of wires hanging underneath there implying that someone's been monkeying with it. I mean, it looks to be just about all original. I mean, just a really, really nice car. You can see the dash, I, not, I don't know if that really, really constitutes as a dash pad, but the original dashboard, I mean, the top of it's not all sun faded. This thing has it sat outside, it's sat in the garage its entire life. I mean, it's, it's just a really, really nice car, guys. Dome lights, all of them work. I mean, even the one on the top there, all the both side uh, courtesy lights work. Downright nice. Let's, uh, we'll pop the trunk, show you the inside of the trunk, and then uh, we'll take it for a drive and then throw it up on the hoist. All right, guys, for the trunk, all you gotta do is just move that over just like that, put the trunk key in, pops up just that easy. That noise you're hearing is, uh, it's actually got a drawdown for the trunk, which is really, really neat, and it does work just fine, and you'll see that in just a second. Uh, of course, the trunk's in beautiful shape on the thing. It's got the mat in it, but underneath the mat, the carpet doesn't look like it's ever had anything sat in it. I mean, good solid floor under here, and of course, you'll see it when we go and throw it up on the hoist. We'll uh, make sure to get a good shot up in the wheel, uh, wheel wells and up here in these trunk drop-down areas, which is a common spot for these to rust. Um, all the paneling is still in place. I mean, it's absolutely beautiful. You can see that it looks like this is original weather stripping is what it looks like to me. I mean. Absolutely just nothing wrong with it, no problems. You can look up in here. We've got all the bumpers are still here and look like they maintain their factory adjustment on them. I mean, it's even got the jack instruction still on the, on the, uh, the deck lid, which also probably uh, implies that this is an original paint car because this is normally going to be gone when someone repaints these things. You can take a good look on here. All the chrome is in great shape. And then also a common spot for these to rust would be underneath here. I mean, I don't see anything under here that would imply that this thing has ever sat outside or been rained down. I mean, for heaven's sakes, it's beautiful. Uh, I would like to point out a couple things right through here. We do got a, a couple of little cracks just on the, uh, the plastic as it got older. Um, just here's one, um, that, yep, there, there's one, and then right here's one as well. Uh, I mean, heck, it's there, we gotta point it out. But outside of that, I'd have to say it's in pretty darn good shape for the year, and we, gotta, we do gotta show you the drawdown feature. That's pretty cool. That's awesome. <laughs> All right, I guess uh, that's about it for that. If the weather will give us a break, we will take it for a drive. I'll have to find the fedora. If we can't, I guess we'll skip the fedora, but we will show you that everything works inside the car when we, uh, we do our driving video. All right, that's about it. I don't have the fedora on because we're not going to drive it. As you can see behind us, it's kind of like that wet slush kind of rain, and we just don't want to get this thing out in that. But we do have it here in the shop, and we will, sh we will show you what the what kind of car it is without driving it at least as much as we can. Um, this thing's pretty much got power everything. I mean, we've got uh, power locks, those are working, rear windows up, other ones up, down, all that's working, front window, that one up, other one, that works. We're moving up the control panel, they can do seats, those are moving, We're going forward, backward, all the tilts work. We got the uh, remote mirrors, both the driver's side and we have the passenger side going over there. Uh, we got climate control over here, re de uh, rear defrost on this thing. Uh, it does have an aftermarket radio on the thing. When you shop it. Uh, that, does, that does work in it, and I think somebody has added that just recently. And inside the glove box, if you'll open this up here, you can see we've got actually like it would be a, um, like a little uh, plug-in for like your phone or something like that if you'd like to listen to whatever music you'd listen to. Rear trunk actually opens up, look at that. <laughs> Got that going for us. Uh, fuel gauge seems to be working just fine. Our trunk light open is warning me that we have our trunk open. That's a thing. Um, we've got delay wipers on this thing, and we've got medium. 
Hi, that's all working properly. Look at that. We've got all of our headlight stuff. You can see this is working. Our, I got all of our interior lights with the, with the click on the dimmer. All that seems to be working. Um, auto dimming, we've got that as well. That seems to be functional. Cruise control, I don't know. I haven't driven this one, but I'm pretty sure it works. I mean, everything else in here does. Why not? We've got the telescoping function for the wheel. All that's functional. All of that works. I mean, that is a loud horn. That's all working. Turn signals, all of that's working great for us. And check out that odometer, guys. 06733. That's actual miles. I mean, this thing, it, it's essentially as if you drove this thing off the lot in 1979. This thing is extremely cool, extremely original. It drives awesome. This car is, there's not many of them out here that's still, that still like this. I mean, this thing is really, I wouldn't say one of a kind, but they're dropping a number very, very quickly. And uh, I'm pretty sure if you come here and you take this thing for a cruise, you will enjoy it greatly. So we're going to go and throw this thing up on a hoist. We're going to give you all the specs on the numbers matching engine and transmission and all that sort of stuff. And just let you get, get a good look at the underside of it. And you can once again see this is a very, very low miles car. So uh, that's what we're going to do right now. All right, guys, we're underneath our 79 Cadillac now. It looks like a low miles car. I mean, there's no surprises under here. I mean, this is pretty much what you'd expect to see. Brand new gas tank in the thing, or I mean, I don't know if it's brand new or if it's just original, but the whole car is essentially brand new. So, I mean, you know, whatever, you call it what you want. Uh, moving forward to that, we got this big old Hank in a Cadillac rear end. This thing is a 2.25 to one gear ratio, and they can pull that off because it has a 425 cubic inch motor underneath the hood, and it makes roughly 320 foot pounds of torque. It doesn't care what rear ends in it. It's just gonna move. And that's the beautiful thing about this Cadillac is you have a three-speed transmission and you can do 1500 RPM on the freeway. You know, it just, it's barely trying. And that's, that's what makes them ride so well. That's why they're so streetable. It's a Cadillac, it's, they're nice. But uh, as you just saw, open differential in the thing, brand new shocks. You can see all the suspension bushings, all that stuff's in good shape. Even the bump stops in great shape. All this stuff is just, I mean, if you want a brand new 1979 Cadillac, in 2017, here it is. Here's your opportunity to own one. Parking brake, all that stuff looks like it's maintained and original. All that stuff's good. Exhaust, I can't tell if this is a brand new exhaust that's been put on it or if it's just the old one. I believe it probably is the original exhaust or at least this section of the pipe has been replaced. It looks like a new muffler on it. For what reason, I do not know. Um, all the U-joints in the thing look like they're the original U-joints in the thing and they're all nice and tight. Of course, you've got the double U-joints that these Cadillacs had. It all checks out just fine. We have mechanics drive these things. I mean, it's fine. We, we, they go through a very thorough inspection process. This here is the numbers matching turbo 400 transmission. That's a three-speed automatic, as I mentioned before. All the factory original wiring is still attached to it. It's not leaking or anything like that. And the VIN number is right here, and it is the VIN number of the car. Um, moving forward to that, you can see the underneath of our engine here. Oil pan's absolutely beautiful. The K-member, of course, it doesn't look like a jack has ever been on that. The paint's not even scratched, for heaven's sakes. Front end on this thing is nice and tight. I mean, of course, we have all of our guys look at it anyway, but it doesn't surprise me that it's as tight as it is because this car is basically a brand new Cadillac. I can't stress that enough. And I've never seen one this nice with this low of miles on it. This thing, it's, it really is a time capsule. I mean, you can see up in here, which is a lot of spot where your water would collect, you know what I mean, where the tire would be throwing it. It's absolutely beautiful. Same thing on the back side. This thing has been spared through all of the elements. We've got an air hose going over there. I mean, downright awesome. Let's take a look at wheels and tires. All right, guys, on the front, they have replaced the tires on it. It's American Classic tires. I mean, they're, they're brand spanking new on the thing. I think, what's the size here? Two, what am I? Two 1575R15s. Um, I mean, you can see it's got the original hub cap on the thing. And of course, it just it looks like it did when it rolled out of the factory uh, almost 30 years ago. Let's go check out the rear. In the back, we got the same American Classic white wall tires back here, 215-75R15. They're uh, same as the front. You can rotate these if you choose. And of course, the, uh, the beauty ring, or I should say the hub cap, looks beautiful back here as well. And I mean, from this point, just take a look at the paint job on it. I mean, that looks like to me like a factory GM paint job. Absolutely beautiful, just as it would have rolled out of the showroom floor. Absolutely awesome. Let's check out the uh, 425, if I'm not mistaken, underneath the hood. This is the under, under hood of our 1979 Cadillac. I mean, it's just exactly what you would expect to see in a 1979 Cadillac. Completely original. There's not anything that's been changed other than possibly the master cylinder and the braking system. Of course, we've had a, a couple of additions made just because it's been sitting around for a little while. 
Um, brand new master cylinder, as I stated, the lines look like they're in great shape. Uh, the motor is a 425 uh, cubic inch V8 Cadillac big block. Um, the thing makes, if I'm not mistaken, in 1979, 180 horsepower. However, it makes 320 foot-pounds of torque. That's a lot for 1979, and that's why they, they can load this thing with the rear end they did, and that's why it drives the way it does. It's just a pulling machine. Um, you've got AC here. You can get your HEI distributor here with all factory-looking stuff. You've got uh, alternator here. All the belts look like they're in pretty good shape. Still V-belt on your... Um, your, uh, what would you call that, your compressor here, I mean it's all original type stuff, very period correct of course, but it's all original, it doesn't surprise me at all. Um, this is the numbers matching engine for the car, um, the VIN number is located there in the back, I have checked it myself, it matches the VIN of the car as well or as does the transmission, everything's the way it should be. All the emission stuff is still there, original intake manifold, original uh, Quadrajet four barrel carburetor on it, and it is the Quadrajet model, they, had, uh, they offered two Two packages, Quadrajet and fuel injection. The early fuel injection is a little bit scary, so I'd rather have the Quadrajet personally. Um, it's all here, guys. I mean, there really hasn't been anything that's been touched since it got put together in 1979. So if you'd like to have this time capsule uh, parked in your driveway, make sure to call Tom at the number below so you can start cruising. Uh, give Vanguard Motor Sales a call.